part 6 video we will see regarding how to check the maturation of the fistula so far in the series we have seen till the post op care of the av fistula so once the fistula is made we will see how to check whether it is ready to be cannulated or not So the maturation of the fistula can be checked through the simple rule which is called the rule of 6 for the maturation of AVF. It can be applied in both radiocephalic and the brachiocephalic and the brachiobasilic fistula. Why it is called rule of 6? Because most of the parameter which we are going to use starts with a 6 or the values is in the multiples or numericals of 6 so that is why it is called as rule of 6 and it is a simple and important rule at least for the dialysis technologist and the person who are frequently handling the dialysis unit so that you can uh, start the patient confidently on dialysis with the AV fistula cannulation so what is this rule of six we will see one by one so the fistula is made the arteriovenous connection is made whether it is ready for dialysis or not minimum it will take four to six weeks for the maturation ideally a doppler might be required to check all the parameters so first which parameter to check so this is called the rule of sixes the first parameter is the diameter diameter of the outflow vein diameter of the outflow vein have to be more than 6 mm this is the first rule so suppose if the radiocephalic fistula is created this is the feeding artery the cephalic vein the cephalic vein is going here this vein have to be minimum 6 mm or above how to check ideally a doppler scan is required or with the experience you can palpate and try to approximate the size it might take years of experience minimum three to four years of experience frequently you have to handle the fistula then only you will get that kind of approximation whether the size is achieved or not so this is regarding the diameter which should be more than six mm second one the depth depth of the outflow vein from the skin have to be less than 6 mm so this is the cephalic vein the skin is here the depth between these two because if the vein is located very deeply it will be very difficult to cannulate mostly after the fistula creation the vein gets prominent and it you can easily palpate through the skin and the size is uh, the depth is usually less than 6 mm does it major pay major role usually no because most of the time the veins are easily visible and palpable for theoretical purpose the depth should be less than 6 mm for the cannulation where to check the depth because this is a big outflow track where to check suppose if the if it is the suture site at least four to five centimeter away from the suture site ideally where you are going to cannulate there it have to be checked it have to be less than 6 mm coming to the third rule the fistula flow the blood flow in the fistula should be more than 600 ml how to check it using the doppler bedside doppler can be used how to check it it is basically required for the nephrologist and therefore the dialysis technology just remember this value this have to be more than 600 ml if bedside ultrasound is not there in the dialysis unit you can send the patient to the radiology department to check the flow so this is the third rule whether to check in the artery or venous side it have to be checked on the outflow track mostly after four to five weeks the flow picks up to more than this range why this have to be checked because if the flow is good 
in the Doppler that means the fistula is able to deliver that much amount of blood to the dialyzer so that is one of the uh, rule in the rule of six the flow have to be more than 600 ml so we have to check the flow it have to be more than 600 ml so what are all the rules we have seen first the outflow in diameter have to be more than 6 mm the depth should be less than 6 mm third the flow should be more than 600 ml per minute in the doppler coming to the fourth one this is the most important one at least all the dialysis technologists and the residents who are handling dialysis unit should know there have to be at least minimum 6 cm of the cannulating segment what is the cannulating segment suppose if it is the fistula this is the outflow track this is the cannulating segment the outflow track at least 3 to 4 cm away from the fistula side this side at least have to be 6 cm it is not in mm at least 6 cm of good cannulating segment should be there so that needle can be placed without any difficulty so this is another important rule practically also important because you can just palpate and find out suppose if doppler machine is not there you want to know whether you can cannulate it or not just palpate if the vein is good look for the thrill and bruit and look at the segment length you can do it with the inch tape or you can approximately also come to know about the length if it is more than six centimeter yes you can cannulate the first class matured enough and the final rule ideally after uh, for the av fistula maturation if the veins are good it is likely four to six week it should come to maturation so this also they have included in the rule of six at least six weeks should be over so that it matures adequately why you should not be prematurely cannulated or what there is a risk of permanent failure of the fistula if the veins are not developed fully and if it is cannulated there is a chances of peri vessel leak hematoma formation and the vessel will go for permanent failure so that is why you have to wait for six weeks it have to maybe matured the vessel have to go for remodeling then you can use it for a longer period longer in the sense years five to ten years there are few patient in our follow-up post fistula was made approximately around 12 years back still it is functioning so that is why it is very very important to look for this parameter so this completes the rule of six rule of six for av fistula maturation both for mcq point of view practically also very very important to decide on the maturation of the av fistula so in summary what are the things we have seen the diameter should be more than 6 mm which is most important the depth of the outflow vein should be less than 6 mm the flow have to be more than 600 ml per minute ideally after six weeks the maturation completes what is the last one diameter depth flow it will take six weeks for it to mature at least six centimeter of cannulatic segment so these are all the most important parameter to assess the maturation practically this six centimeter six weeks and if you are experienced enough you can palpate and find out this and the rest two needs doppler the depth is not that much important the most important is that this flow needs doppler this flow flow have to be checked in the doppler depth can be checked in the doppler only so this is how you will check the maturation i hope you got this rule of six bye bye and see you in the next video